Hey, what's up guys? Chip Waters here. And some of you have been asking me how I created the sci-fi cubes that we were using to demonstrate the sketch style product. And I want to show you that that was done very quickly within KitOps. So let's do that real quick. So when you launch KitOps, the first thing you'll see if you have KitOps Pro is this particular interface. Here are all our K-Packs that I've got loaded in. And what I'm going to do is before I load that up, I want to just go into my cube. I'm going to add one bevel modifier and that's it. So I just leave it as a default. It gives me this bevel right here. So now I'm going to go ahead and assuming this is going to be their face of it, I'm going to add the insert to this side here. So I'll click here, add insert, do this, and I'll just scale it up. And because I have KitOps Pro, I'm going to go to the smart mode and I'm going to basically mirror this around the wide axis. And now we have that. And then I'll go in and let's see, let's, uh, let's use this one right here. Let's just go ahead and we're going to add that to the top up here. So add insert, move it here. Now, when I move it to the top, I may want uh, to rotate it so I can hit R Z 90 that I may also want to center it. So I'm going to center it both ways using KitOps Pro, these two little things right here. And now that I have that done, I think I'm going to scale it a little bit more. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to add the insert here, the same one. And again, I'll hit this button to center it. Now notice that it centered it, but it centered it this direction. So I want to click it here because I want it on the Y axis. Now we got it perfectly centered on the Y axis. I'll move it down a little bit. And now we have our funky little monitor. I can turn our cutters off here a little bit so we don't see them as much. And that's what we have. So next I'm going to go and I'm going to go into the objects controls and I'm going to select my object and add the insert and I'm going to put that right about here and again I will center it and now that it's centered I'm going to scale it. We also have a decals package here and you can replace these decals easily with your own but I'm going to go ahead and grab the KitOps one and I'll go in here add the insert and there it is and let's zero it out on the Y and I can also go in here and do it this way zero and now it's probably a good time for me to start rendering this to see what it looks like there we go so I'm gonna scale it down move it down and let's go back to KitOps turn these guys back on we can see what we have so we have this which is working pretty well now this is complete I'm gonna add a last bit of bevel to it so I'll click on here and I'm gonna add a bevel modifier that's going to show up at the very bottom and I'm going to give it 0 0.0015 you really can't tell very much that showed up because of the clamp override so if I zoom in I'll turn clamp override off and you'll see it does that but it creates this kind of smoothing artifact problem so I'm going to hit the hard normals button and that'll solve my problem there now the problem that we're having is that the texture is really just too rough for me to see it's a it's one of my EV materials textures. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to choose the CW metal and let's grab this steel material. And once we have that selected, if you notice is when I roll my mouse over here, it says control import and assign material. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the control button and import and assign the material. And now we have this nice, beautiful steel monitor with a display on it. And I can always go up into here and turn on my bloom so I can get some bloom. I can go in into this object. If I look at the materials, you'll find out that I have nothing associated with it. That's because this particular insert has a bunch of objects associated with it. So what I want to do is I want to basically say, I don't want to select the insert. I want to select the object. There's the object and it has an emissive blue and emissive. So let's go to the blue and the emission and we'll just put that up to say two. So now we get a little, a little brighter look there. Let's talk about something that has been happening with the 1.15 version, and that is that on some reported cases in smart mode, it'll crash when you render or during an animation. It doesn't happen very often, and it's very hard for us to reproduce. We're not sure if it's a Blender issue or where it is, but our developers can't reproduce it. But even so, we're defaulting now to the regular mode, and it, it never happens in regular mode, so that's a good thing to keep in mind. Let's quickly set up a, a render. Hit the F12 key. There's our nice render. 
So let's say we want to create a freestyle rendering and we'll do that with the new sketch style add-on. Very simple. Here's our add-on. We say it has a one button render and let's try it out. We'll hit the sketch button and we hit F12. And there's our one button render. So that's pretty cool, but we have some issues that we want to deal with. One is that this line right here and that line right there are problems for us because we want to actually have the background and the foreground just be a solid white or a color. We probably want to show our logo here and get rid of this outline. So let's talk about how we do that. So one thing to note is that we don't want to create any new collections in the sketch style scene. We want to create all of our new collections in the original scene. So we'll go back to the original scene. And as you can see, once we go back here, all of our materials are put back in their original state. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to select the objects we know that we don't want to have the freestyle rendering effect. So I'm going to click this and I'm going to grab the logo over here. So I've got these two things. Type M, create a new collection. I can call it anything I want, but I'm going to call it no freestyle. Okay, there it is, no freestyle. So both of those are in there now. Now I'm going to go back to my sketch view and we're going to see that that plane is gone. It's not in here anymore that ground plane, and neither is the logo. They're both gone. That's because we can't transfer collections between scenes once they're created. So the best thing we need to do is just go back to the normal scene. Let's delete the sketch style scene. We did that. Now, let's go back to the sketch scene. Let's go ahead and use the Eevee rendering this time. And actually, let's go up here and let's turn off all the lights. You can see that now we have the plane is back and our logo also is back. But wouldn't it be great if we could see the logo and the way we deal with that is we select it and we go to the override settings and we hit materials and now we're going to see the logo. Now if I render it now we're going to see that we do have the lines where they are and we also see that we don't have color matching. So let's figure out quickly how to get this color matching and then let's get rid of these lines. The first thing is let's just go to our brightness and let's bring it down say to 0 0.8 something like that. And then let's take our brightness color and let's make it a little bit of a cool gray if we can just something like that and then let's match the background color with this color and that's easily done by clicking on the color button here for background color the eyedropper and just tapping it right there now we want to get rid of the lines and the way we do that if you can notice that we have the heavy black outline and the thin lines i'm also going to put the alpha up on these. I want the lines to be a little bit darker. The alpha is, is how transparent they are. So I set those there. And I'm going to come back here in the fourth one of these, which is the layers panel. I'm going to notice that I have the freestyle sets selected here and here. They're the exact same. We'll turn this one off. The, the edge mark will turn on and off this way. Now with them selected, I'm going to take the heavy back outline. I'm going to say collection. So that means it's going to render based on a collection. And I'm going to scroll down and I want to exclude the no freestyle. I'll do the exact same thing with thin. Exclude no freestyle. So now when I hit the F12 button, you see that we have a nice freestyle line rendering and we don't have a rectangle around our logo, nor do we have lines in the back. So I hope you enjoy this. This is using a few of the different programs that we use to accomplish different kinds of looks for us. And I hope to see you online. Thanks for watching.